Imagine for a moment that you're standing at a crossroads with two paths stretching out before you. One path leads to a future filled with purpose, success, and fulfillment, where you wake up every morning excited to tackle the day ahead. The other path? Well, it's the path of least resistance, where days blend into weeks, months, and eventually years, leaving you feeling unfulfilled and wondering where all the time has gone. How many more years are you willing to let slip away without taking decisive action toward creating the life you truly desire? It's time to take control of your destiny and chart a course toward a future that fills you with excitement and purpose. But where do you begin? The answer lies in making a conscious decision to invest in yourself and your future. Visualize the life you desire, the person you want to become, and then take the first bold step toward making that vision a reality. Remember, the power to change your life lies within you. It's time to unleash that power and embark on a journey of self-discovery and transformation. Don't let another year slip away. Seize this moment, seize this opportunity, and watch as your life unfolds in ways you never thought possible. Think about your goals. The simple act of reflecting on your objectives makes you positive and purposeful. There's extensive psychological literature focused on the concept of the locus of control theory. In over 50 years of research, psychologists have determined that your personal locus of control is the determining factor of your happiness or unhappiness in life. And here's why. A person with an internal locus of control feels they have complete control over their life. They feel strong, secure, and powerful, generally optimistic and positive. They feel fantastic about themselves and have a sense of being in charge of their own destiny. On the other hand, a person with an external locus of control feels they are being controlled by external factors like their boss, their debts, their marriage, childhood issues, and their current situation. They feel out of control, and as a result, experience weakness, anger, fear, negativity, hostility, and disempowerment. The good news is that there's a direct relationship between the amount of responsibility you accept and the amount of control you feel. The more you say, I am responsible, the more you develop an internal locus of control, becoming more powerful and confident. There's also a direct relationship between responsibility and happiness. The more responsibility you accept, the happier you become. Responsibility, control, and happiness go hand in hand. And the more responsibility you accept, the more control you feel, and the happier and more secure you become. When you feel positive and in control of your life, you'll set bigger and more challenging goals. Additionally, you'll have the motivation and determination to achieve them. Feeling like you have your whole life in your hands, and that you can shape it according to your decisions, is the starting point for setting goals. Realize that you have virtually unlimited potential to be, do, or have anything you truly desire in life, as long as you want it enough and are willing to work for it. The second part of goal setting is accepting full responsibility for your life and everything that happens to you, without blame or excuses. With these two concepts in mind, that you have unlimited potential and that you are completely responsible, you're ready to move on to the next step, which is to start designing your ideal future. In over 3,300 studies conducted over the years on leaders, there's one special quality that stands out. A quality that all great leaders have in common. And that's the quality of vision. Leaders have vision. Something non-leaders lack. The most important discovery in all of human history is that you become what you think about most of the time. So what do leaders think about most of the time? The answer is that leaders think about the future, where they are going, and what they can do to get there. We call this leadership quality future orientation. Leaders think about the future, what they want to achieve, and where they want to get to eventually. They think about what they desire, and what can be done to achieve it. The good news is, that when you start thinking about your future, you start thinking like a leader, and soon you'll get the same results as leaders. In personal strategic planning, you should start with a long-term view of your life. You should practice idealization in everything you do. In the process of idealization, you create a five-year fantasy for yourself and start thinking about how your life would look in five years if it were perfect in every aspect. The biggest obstacle to setting goals are the limiting beliefs you have about yourself. These are areas where you perceive yourself as limited in some way. You may believe you are inadequate or inferior in areas like intelligence, ability, talent, creativity, personality, or something else. As a result, 
you underestimate yourself, setting low goals that are well below what you're really capable of achieving. By combining idealization and future orientation, you cancel out or neutralize this limitation process. Imagine for a moment that you have no limitations at all. Imagine you have all the time, talent and skills you could possibly need to achieve any goal you set for yourself. Imagine you have all the friends, contacts and relationships you need to open any door and achieve anything you truly desire. Imagine you have no limitations on what you could be, have or do. In pursuing the goals that are really important to you, when you practice idealization and future orientation, you don't compromise your dreams and visions for yourself and your future. You don't settle for small goals or half successes. You dream big and mentally project yourself forward as if you were one of the most powerful people in the universe. You create your perfect future. Decide what you really want before returning to the present moment and dealing with what is possible for you within your current situation. So start with your business and career. Imagine your work life would be perfect in five years. Answer these questions. How would it look? If your work life were perfect, what would you be doing? Where would you be doing it? Who would you be working with? What level of responsibility would you have? If you were at the top of your field, what skills would you have? What goals would you be achieving? What level of status would you have in your field if your career were perfect in the future? When you answer these questions, imagine you have no limits, that everything is possible for you, that you can write on a magical board whatever you desire, erase anything that has happened in the past, and create the image you want for your future. You have no limits. When you have clear and exciting goals, you'll feel happier with yourself and your world. You'll be more positive and optimistic, more joyful and enthusiastic. You'll feel internally motivated to get up and start each morning because every step you take will lead you in the direction of something that is important to you. Remember to think about your ideal future most of the time. Remember that the best days of your life are yet to come, and the happiest moments you'll experience are still ahead. The highest income you'll earn will materialize in the months and years to come. The future will be better than anything that has happened in your past. There are no limits. The clearer you can be about your long-term future, the more quickly you'll attract people and circumstances into your life to help make that future a reality. So here's what you should do to effectively apply the 80-20 rule to goal setting and your overall productivity. First, take a sheet of paper and write down 10 goals. Then ask yourself, if you could only achieve one of those goals today in 24 hours, which one would have the greatest positive impact on your life? This question is crucial for determining the top 20% of your goals that will help you more than anything else you do. Second, work on those goals you've chosen all the time. We often see people who seem to be busy all day but achieve very little. This is almost always because they're busy working on low value or worthless tasks while procrastinating on the one or two activities that can really make a difference in their businesses and careers. The most valuable tasks you can do each day are usually the most difficult and complex ones, but the rewards for completing them can be tremendous and completely change your future. Before you start working, always ask yourself if this task is in the top 20% of my activities or is it in the top 80%. The rule here is simple. Resist the temptation to solve small things first. That's what kills you the most. We get so involved in small things and those small things multiply. They become bigger and bigger and at the end of the day, you're exhausted and you haven't achieved anything. If you choose to start your day working on low-value tasks, you'll soon develop the habit of always starting and working on low-value tasks. Imagine yourself as the horse tirelessly circling a wheel, expending energy, but making no progress forward. This analogy perfectly captures the plight of those who lack clear, compelling goals in their lives. Now consider a recent study that delved into the attitudes of rich versus poor individuals when it comes to goal setting. Astonishingly, it revealed that a staggering 85% of wealthy individuals harbor ambitious goals that they actively pursue, while a mere 3% of those with limited financial means possess such aspirations and dedicate little effort to them. So, if your aspiration is to attain financial prosperity, it's imperative to emulate the habits of the affluent, select a substantial goal, and relentlessly devote yourself to its attainment. Doing so has the power to revolutionize your life in ways you never imagined. Before I conclude, allow me to impart a profound insight to share with your peers. When your objectives are crystal clear, the universe conspires to align the perfect solutions with the precise moment of need. 
Each of us harbors lofty aspirations, some of which may seem unattainable at times. Yet, with a well-crafted plan, nothing is beyond reach. Developing a strategic approach to conquering formidable goals can be the linchpin of your success. To assist you in surmounting any obstacles that may arise, I've curated a compendium of top-tier strategies for achieving audacious objectives, irrespective of your current circumstances. First and foremost, it's crucial to adopt the principles of smart goal setting. Not all goals are created equal, and it takes a strategic and intelligent approach to achieve challenging goals. Smart goals are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. Specifically for challenging goals, the word achievable is incredibly important. While it's crucial to step out of your comfort zone, if your goal isn't achievable from the outset, you're setting yourself up for failure. If you feel like your goal has a high probability of failure, it might just be too ambitious. This brings me to the next piece of advice. Break down your goal into manageable tasks, what we call chunking tasks. This helps you keep your goals moving and achieve them step by step. Remember the old question of how to eat an elephant? The answer is one bite at a time. The same goes for big goals. Remember that every step you take brings you closer to achieving your goals, and each step motivates you to take the next one, even though they may not seem monumental at the moment. All these daily tasks add up to incredible achievements. My third piece of advice for reaching challenging goals is to set specific milestones. They can help keep you motivated in any situation. Whether you're searching for a new job, keeping motivation in school, or reaching a new financial goal. By creating and celebrating milestones along the way, when you check off a task from your to-do list, no matter how small, it's a victory that brings you one step closer to your goals. My fourth and personal favorite piece of advice is to eat that frog. Mark Twain said that if the first thing you do every morning is eat a live frog, you can go through the day with the satisfaction of knowing that it's probably the worst thing that will happen to you all day. Your frog is your biggest, most difficult, and most important task. You must develop the habit or routine of eating your frog before doing anything else and without spending too much time thinking about it. By using the eat that frog strategy, make a list the night before of all the tasks you need to do the next day. Once you start on the hardest task of the day, work steadily and focus until it's 100% complete. The most powerful technique for improving your intelligence and increasing your creativity is what I call mindstorming. The process is simple and the results you'll get will be so astonishing that they'll change your life. It begins with a simple yet profound step. Articulating your goal or problem as a focused question at the top of a pristine sheet of paper. Remember, the clarity and specificity of your question will directly influence the caliber of answers you generate. For instance, instead of asking, how can I make more money, goes a more targeted question like, how can I double my income in the next 24 months? Each of your responses must adhere to the 3P formula. They should be personal, positive, and articulated in the present tense. Essentially, frame your answers as empowering affirmations or directives from your conscious mind to your subconscious. With your question set at the helm, challenge yourself to generate a minimum of 20 answers. While you're certainly welcome to exceed this benchmark, committing to at least 20 responses is paramount to the effectiveness of this exercise. Initially, the first few answers may flow effortlessly. You'll quickly come up with answers like work harder, start earlier, stay later, work on higher value tasks. Your next five answers will be more difficult. You'll have to dig deeper and look for less obvious but more creative ways to answer your question. Your last 10 answers will be the most difficult of all. Many people find this part of the exercise so challenging that their minds go blank, their eyes glaze over, and they experience a rush of blood to their brains. As you start this process of mental lifting, however long it takes, especially the first few times you practice this exercise, you must discipline yourself to keep writing until you have at least 20 answers. Sometimes the 20th answer you generate will be the revealing answer that allows you to save thousands of dollars and many hours of hard work. Often your last response is the inspired idea that completely changes your life and career. Once you have 20 answers, go back over your list and review your responses. Then, select at least one action you can take immediately to start moving more quickly toward your goal or to solve the problem. You can multiply the effectiveness of this process by taking the best response you identified in the first list of 20 and writing it at the top of a new sheet of paper in question form. Then, see if you can generate 20 answers to that question as well.
This combined exercise will mentally stimulate you like stepping on the accelerator of a car while the transmission is in neutral. Your mind will shine and dance with mental energy and overflow. Then, you can begin to write down 20 different things you can do to save time, gain time, and devote an extra two hours to productive work each day. Whatever response you choose, put it into action immediately. The faster you take action in this exercise, the larger and more continuous the stream of ideas throughout the day will be. If you generate these ideas and then do nothing with them, the creative flow will slow down and stop. The best time to do this exercise is first thing in the morning after you've rewritten your goals in your spiral notebook. Every morning, take one goal, rewrite it as a question, and generate 20 answers to that question. Then, immediately get to work and implement one of your responses. You can repeat this exercise on the same goal if the goal is big and important enough to you. Don't worry about writing the same responses over and over again. The more you practice this exercise, the more likely you are to trigger completely unexpected breakthrough ideas. This may require several days or even weeks of work before the flash of inspiration occurs. You must be patient and determined. It will happen. As I mentioned earlier, successful people are intensely solution-oriented. The fact is that life is a continuous succession of endless problems and difficulties. This river of problems is only interrupted by the occasional crisis that makes the problem seem small in comparison, at least for a while. In fact, if you lead a busy life, you're likely to experience a crisis of some kind every two or three months throughout your life. Business crises, family crises, financial crises, health crises, and others. Problems and crises never stop. They keep coming like ocean waves. The only thing you can control is your responses to these problems and crises. And therein lies the key to your success. Remember this. You have the power to shape your destiny, to rewrite the script of your life, and to chart a course toward a future filled with purpose, passion, and possibility. So, before you allow another year to slip through your fingers, before you let fear, doubt, or complacency hold you back any longer, take a stand for yourself and your dreams. Take action today that your future self will thank you for. Commit to stepping out of your comfort zone, to embracing challenges as opportunities for growth, and to never settling for anything less than you deserve. With determination, perseverance, and unwavering belief in yourself, there's no limit to what you can achieve. Go forth with courage, go forth with conviction, and watch as the doors of opportunity swing wide open before you. Your time is now, your moment is here and your destiny awaits. Don't waste another precious moment. Make this year the year you turn your dreams into reality. Thank you all for joining me today. It is truly a privilege to speak with you about something that profoundly shapes our lives, whether we are acutely aware of it or not. Our habits. Every one of us, regardless of our background, industry, or aspirations, is in a constant dance with our daily routines. They either push us toward unprecedented success, or pull us back into the shadows of missed opportunities. You see, habits are much more than the simple routines we carry out with little thought. They are the visible architecture of daily life, deeply ingrained behaviors that drive our actions and decisions. Each habit we form is a thread in the fabric of our character and our destiny. Over time, these threads weave together to form the tapestry of our lives. Whether we succeed or fail in our personal and professional endeavors, often boils down to the nature of the habits we cultivate. Consider for a moment the immense power of a positive habit, such as rising early each day. This single practice sets the tone for proactive living, carving out time in our often hectic mornings, allowing us to plan, reflect, and simply breathe. This habit alone can dramatically enhance productivity and mental clarity, which cascades into every aspect of our day, improving decision-making and time management. But let's not forget that habits work both ways. Just as positive habits can lift us, negative habits have the equal power to drag us down. Imagine the impact of a habit as simple as repeatedly hitting the snooze button every morning. This small action, seemingly benign, subtly signals a reluctance to face the day, to tackle challenges head on. It's a minor choice that can morph into a major roadblock in achieving our full potential. As we stand here today, I urge each of you to think about the habits that fill your days. Ask yourself, which of these are serving my greater goals? Which habits are shaping the person I aspire to become? This reflection is not just an academic exercise. 
It is a critical analysis that can redefine the trajectory of your life. Explore how to harness the transformative power of habits. We'll look at strategies to dismantle those routines that hinder our progress and ways to fortify those that are the pillars of success. As we venture into this exploration, remember that the journey toward profound personal change begins with a single step, a decision to adjust the habits that shape our daily lives. With a clear understanding of the impact our habits have on our lives, let's be ready to embrace the habits that will empower us, enhance our lives, and catapult us toward our most ambitious goals. Habits, by their very essence, are the unseen architects of daily life, sculpting outcomes both minor and monumental. These repetitive actions, when understood and mastered, can become tools of extraordinary personal and professional transformation. Again, by examining the anatomy of a habit, habits are essentially our brain's way of saving effort. When a pattern of behavior is repeated frequently, it transitions from being consciously executed to becoming automatic. This shift is grounded in a psychological process involving three key components. A cue, a routine, and a reward. The cue triggers the behavior, the routine is the behavior itself, and the reward is the benefit derived from the behavior. Over time, this cycle reinforces itself, creating a loop that can be challenging to break. Consider the profound impact that daily routines have on long-term outcomes. Habits such as daily planning, regular exercise, and consistent learning can culminate in a life that is not only productive, but also vibrant and fulfilling. These actions, performed consistently, shape our health, intellect, and emotional well-being, ultimately steering our life's trajectory toward success and contentment. Conversely, reflect on the impact of less constructive habits, those that might seem benign or inconsequential in the moment. Procrastination, for instance, often begins as a minor delay in starting a task, but can quickly escalate into a significant barrier to achievement. Similarly, the habit of regularly indulging in unhealthy foods might satisfy a short-term craving, but can lead to long-term health issues and decreased vitality. This brings us to the crucial task of distinguishing between productive and unproductive habits. Productive habits are those that align with our long-term goals and values. They are the building blocks of a fulfilling life, enabling us to achieve more with less stress and greater satisfaction. Unproductive habits, on the other hand, are those that divert us from our goals, drain our energy, and create barriers to success. To identify which habits to cultivate and which to curb, we must first become keen observers of our own behaviors. Start by evaluating your daily routine. What actions do you engage in without thinking? What triggers these actions, and what rewards do you get from them? This self-reflection is the first step in realigning your habits to better serve your ambitions. As we progress today, think of your habits not as fixed traits, but as malleable pathways. With awareness, determination, and strategic action, any habit that does not serve you can be reshaped, and new habits that propel you toward your desired future can be formed. Remember, the power to shape your destiny lies significantly in the small decisions you make daily. By mastering your habits, you master your life. Let's embrace this empowering journey together fostering habits that lead to lasting power and success. Harnessing the transformative power of habits leads us directly to the cornerstone of a successful day, the morning routine. The way we start our day sets a precedent for the rest of it, shaping our mindset, energy levels, and productivity. Imagine beginning your day not in a frantic rush but with a sequence of deliberate, empowering actions. A powerful morning routine could start with awakening early providing you those precious extra minutes that seem to expand time, allowing for a calm, unhurried start. Following this, engaging in meditation or a short reflection can center the mind, cultivating a state of clarity and focus. Physical activity, whether it's a brisk walk, a series of yoga poses, or a vigorous workout, activates the body's energy reserves, enhancing both physical and mental agility. Nutrition follows as a critical pillar of the morning. A wholesome balanced breakfast fuels the body with essential nutrients to power through the day's tasks. Finally, setting daily goals during these morning hours can direct your focus, helping prioritize tasks, and align your activities with your long-term aspirations. The impact of such morning rituals is not just theoretical, but is evidenced by the lives of many successful individuals. Take for example a visionary entrepreneur who begins each day with a run at dawn, using this time to clear his mind and prepare for the challenges ahead. 
or consider a renowned writer who starts the day by journaling, a practice that sharpens her focus and crystallizes her thoughts, paving the way for creative breakthroughs. These individuals don't leave their mornings to chance but design them with the precision of a craftsman. To craft your own morning routine, consider what energizes you and aligns with your personal and professional goals. Start by identifying the time you wake up. Adjusting this even slightly earlier can make room for activities that enhance your well-being. Experiment with different activities to see what suits you best. What matters is not the exact activity, but its rejuvenating effect on you. It's also beneficial to tailor your morning routine to fit seamlessly into your specific lifestyle and needs. Not everyone may find solace in meditation or vigor in a morning jog, and that's perfectly fine. The goal is to find activities that leave you refreshed and ready to face the day. Moreover, flexibility within your routine is crucial. Life is unpredictable, and rigid adherence to routine can sometimes create more stress than it alleviates. Allow yourself the flexibility to adapt your routine as circumstances change. The essence of a morning routine lies in its ability to give you a grounded and positive start to the day, not in the exact checklist of activities it includes. By now, it's clear that morning routines are not just about the activities we perform, but about setting a tone that resonates with our innermost aspirations. They are a daily reaffirmation of our goals and values, a daily stepping stone toward the greatness we aim to achieve. Let us embrace these practices not as chores, but as celebrations of our potential, and watch as ordinary days transform into a life of extraordinary accomplishments. Let this understanding guide us as we explore further into the essential habits that can significantly enhance our well-being and productivity. The essence of our potential, we recognize, lies in continuous learning and self-improvement. It is a profound truth that the quest for knowledge is a lifelong endeavor, which not only enriches our lives, but also elevates our sense of purpose and fulfillment. Lifelong learning is pivotal, for it fuels our curiosity and sharpens our skills, keeping us relevant and adaptive in an ever-evolving world. It empowers us to stay competitive in our professional fields and to navigate the complexities of today's dynamic environment. The pursuit of knowledge drives innovation, facilitates personal growth, and leads to a deeper understanding of the world around us. Consider the transformative power of acquiring new skills. Learning a new language, for example, not only opens doors to new cultures and experiences, but also enhances cognitive function and interpersonal skills. Similarly, mastering a new technology or business skill can lead to significant career advancements, opening up opportunities that were once beyond reach. It's about creating a bridge to possibilities that were previously unthinkable. The personal transformations that accompany continuous learning are equally profound. With each new skill or piece of knowledge acquired, we become more confident and capable. This confidence permeates all aspects of life, improving our decision-making abilities, boosting our problem-solving skills, and enhancing our ability to communicate with others. As we grow more confident, we also grow more secure in our ability to face new challenges, creating a cycle of positive reinforcement that propels us toward greater achievements. Integrating continuous learning into everyday life is simpler than it might seem. It starts with fostering a mindset that views every experience as a learning opportunity. Whether it's a challenge at work, a conversation with a peer, or an article in a newsfeed, each situation holds valuable insights waiting to be uncovered. One effective strategy is to set aside dedicated time for learning each day. This could be as little as 15 minutes in the morning to read industry news, or an hour in the evening to take an online course. The key is consistency. Like any habit, the habit of learning thrives on regularity. Another strategy is to leverage the resources available in the digital age. Online platforms offer a plethora of learning materials that can be accessed anywhere, anytime, making it easier than ever to find information tailored to our specific needs and interests. From podcasts and webinars to online courses and ebooks, the resources at our disposal are as vast as the knowledge they contain. Learning can be social. Engaging with communities, whether online or in person, that share your learning interests can significantly enhance your educational journey. Discussions and collaborations with peers can provide new insights and understandings that solitary study may miss. The importance of other essential habits in our lives. Let us carry forward this commitment to continuous learning. Let it be a golden thread that weaves through the fabric of our daily routines, enhancing not just our professional lives but enriching our personal lives as well. With each new skill and each piece of knowledge acquired, 
We don't just learn. We transform and transcend our previous limitations, moving ever closer to the best versions of ourselves. Carrying forward our commitment to continuous learning. Let us now consider another critical aspect that shapes the very foundation of our success and well-being. The ability to withstand adversity. To rise from the ashes of defeat, and to thrive in the face of challenges, is a trait that distinguishes the extraordinary from the ordinary. Resilience is not merely a passive quality, but an active pursuit. It is about cultivating a mindset that embraces challenges as opportunities for growth. The significance of resilience extends beyond individual accomplishments. It is the backbone of mental and emotional strength, enabling individuals to manage stress and overcome obstacles with grace and determination. To build resilience, it is essential to develop daily habits that fortify mental and emotional fortitude. One such habit is the practice of mindfulness. By being present in the moment and accepting your thoughts and feelings without judgment, you can significantly reduce stress and anxiety. Mindfulness enhances your awareness, allowing you to respond to challenges more thoughtfully and less reactively. Another powerful habit is the cultivation of gratitude. Taking time each day to reflect on what you are grateful for can shift your perspective from what you lack to what you possess, fostering a sense of abundance and contentment. This shift in focus is a cornerstone of resilience, for it anchors you during turbulent times, reminding you of the strengths and supports you do have, rather than those you do not. Regular physical exercise also plays a crucial role in building resilience. It not only strengthens the body, but also the mind. Exercise releases endorphins, chemicals in your brain that act as natural painkillers and mood elevators. They enhance your sense of well-being and provide you with the energy needed to tackle difficult situations. Additionally, exercise can promote better sleep, which is often compromised during stressful periods. Let us draw inspiration from the stories of individuals who epitomize resilience. Consider the entrepreneur who faced repeated failures, but used each setback as a stepping stone to eventually build a thriving business empire. His resilience was not inherent, but was honed through years of facing and overcoming disappointments. Or think of the community leader who, despite personal losses and natural disasters, led the rebuilding efforts, instilling hope and resilience in her community. Her ability to lead with strength and compassion during times of despair not only transformed her life, but also the lives of those around her. These examples underscore a vital truth. Resilience is not about avoiding difficulties, but about facing them head-on with courage, learning from them, and emerging stronger. Each story is a testament to the potential that lies within each of us to cultivate resilience through our daily habits. As we embrace these practices, Remember that building resilience is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, commitment, and perseverance, but the rewards are immense. Not only does it enhance our ability to navigate through life's challenges, but it also leads to deeper satisfaction and a more fulfilling life. In embracing the habits that foster resilience, we prepare ourselves not just to survive, but to thrive. These habits empower us, enrich our character, and enable us to impart strength to others. Let's carry this understanding forward as we continue to explore other essential habits and how they can further enhance our well-being and productivity. The essence of our potential, we recognize, lies in continuous learning and self-improvement. It is a profound truth that the quest for knowledge is a lifelong endeavor, which not only enriches our lives, but also elevates our sense of purpose and fulfillment. Lifelong learning is pivotal, for it fuels our curiosity and sharpens our skills keeping us relevant and adaptive in an ever-evolving world. It empowers us to stay competitive in our professional fields and to navigate the complexities of today's dynamic environment. The pursuit of knowledge drives innovation, facilitates personal growth, and leads to a deeper understanding of the world around us. Consider the transformative power of acquiring new skills. Learning a new language, for example, not only opens doors to new cultures and experiences, but also enhances cognitive function and interpersonal skills. Similarly, mastering a new technology or business skill can lead to significant career advancements, opening up opportunities that were once beyond reach. It's about creating a bridge to possibilities that were previously unthinkable. The personal transformations that accompany continuous learning are equally profound. With each new skill or piece of knowledge acquired, we become more confident and capable. This confidence permeates all aspects of life, improving our decision-making abilities, boosting our problem-solving skills, and enhancing our ability to communicate with others. 
As we grow more confident, we also grow more secure in our ability to face new challenges, creating a cycle of positive reinforcement that propels us toward greater achievements. Integrating continuous learning into everyday life is simpler than it might seem. It starts with fostering a mindset that views every experience as a learning opportunity. Whether it's a challenge at work, a conversation with a peer, or an article in a newsfeed, each situation holds valuable insights waiting to be uncovered. One effective strategy is to set aside dedicated time for learning each day. This could be as little as 15 minutes in the morning to read industry news, or an hour in the evening to take an online course. The key is consistency. Like any habit, the habit of learning thrives on regularity. Another strategy is to leverage the resources available in the digital age. Online platforms offer a plethora of learning materials that can be accessed anywhere, anytime, making it easier than ever to find information tailored to our specific needs and interests. From podcasts and webinars to online courses and ebooks, the resources at our disposal are as vast as the knowledge they contain. Learning can be social. Engaging with communities, whether online or in person, that share your learning interests can significantly enhance your educational journey. Discussions and collaborations with peers can provide new insights and understandings that solitary study may miss. The importance of other essential habits in our lives. Let us carry forward this commitment to continuous learning. Let it be a golden thread that weaves through the fabric of our daily routines, enhancing not just our professional lives, but enriching our personal lives as well. With each new skill and each piece of knowledge acquired, we don't just learn. We transform and transcend our previous limitations moving ever closer to the best versions of ourselves. Carrying forward our commitment to continuous learning, let us now consider another critical aspect that shapes the very foundation of our success and well-being. The ability to withstand adversity. To rise from the ashes of defeat and to thrive in the face of challenges is a trait that distinguishes the extraordinary from the ordinary. Resilience is not merely a passive quality, but an active pursuit. It is about cultivating a mindset that embraces challenges as opportunities for growth. The significance of resilience extends beyond individual accomplishments. It is the backbone of mental and emotional strength, enabling individuals to manage stress and overcome obstacles with grace and determination. To build resilience, it is essential to develop daily habits that fortify mental and emotional fortitude. One such habit is the practice of mindfulness. By being present in the moment and accepting your thoughts and feelings without judgment, you can significantly reduce stress and anxiety. Mindfulness enhances your awareness, allowing you to respond to challenges more thoughtfully and less reactively. Another powerful habit is the cultivation of gratitude. Taking time each day to reflect on what you are grateful for can shift your perspective from what you lack to what you possess, fostering a sense of abundance and contentment. This shift in focus is a cornerstone of resilience, for it anchors you during turbulent times, reminding you of the strengths and supports you do have, rather than those you do not. Regular physical exercise also plays a crucial role in building resilience. It not only strengthens the body, but also the mind. Exercise releases endorphins, chemicals in your brain that act as natural painkillers and mood elevators. They enhance your sense of well-being and provide you with the energy needed to tackle difficult situations. Additionally, exercise can promote better sleep, which is often compromised during stressful periods. Let us draw inspiration from the stories of individuals who epitomize resilience. Consider the entrepreneur who faced repeated failures, but used each setback as a stepping stone to eventually build a thriving business empire. His resilience was not inherent, but was honed through years of facing and overcoming disappointments. Or think of the community leader who, despite personal losses and natural disasters, led the rebuilding efforts, instilling hope and resilience in her community. Her ability to lead with strength and compassion during times of despair not only transformed her life, but also the lives of those around her. These examples underscore a vital truth. Resilience is not about avoiding difficulties, but about facing them head-on with courage, learning from them, and emerging stronger. Each story is a testament to the potential that lies within each of us to cultivate resilience through our daily habits. As we embrace these practices, remember that building resilience is a journey, not a destination. It requires patience, commitment, and perseverance, but the rewards are immense. Not only does it enhance our ability to navigate through life's challenges, 
but it also leads to deeper satisfaction and a more fulfilling life. In embracing the habits that foster resilience, we prepare ourselves not just to survive but to thrive. These habits empower us, enrich our character, and enable us to impart strength to others. Let's carry this understanding forward as we continue to explore other essential habits and how they can further enhance our well-being and productivity. Reflecting on the journey we have taken today, we began by exploring the profound impact of habits on our lives, recognizing that the routines we cultivate ultimately shape our destiny. We delved into the empowering practice of morning routines, uncovering how these early actions set the tone for successful days and fulfilled lives. We then turned our attention to the transformative power of continuous learning, recognizing it as the cornerstone of personal and professional growth. Finally, we explored the essential role of resilience in navigating life's challenges, understanding that it is not merely a trait, but a skill that can be honed through deliberate practice. As we conclude our time together, let us carry forward the insights gained today and commit to fostering habits that uplift and empower us. Let us embrace the potential within us to shape our destinies through our daily actions and decisions. And let us remember that the journey toward greatness is not a solitary one, but a collective endeavor, supported by the habits we cultivate and the communities we build. Thank you all for your thoughtful participation today. May the knowledge and insights gained serve as catalysts for positive change in your lives and the lives of those around you. Together, let us embark on a journey of growth, resilience, and fulfillment, one habit at a time. Have you ever paused to consider that the only thing standing between you and your financial dreams, the sole barrier to the wealth you've aspired to build, is not the economy, luck, or certainly not other people, but your own brain? Yes, you've heard me correctly. It's that powerful entity sitting right between your ears that holds the key to unlocking vast treasures or keeping them at bay. You see, our brains are marvelous creations. They're wired for survival, for avoiding risk and for keeping us safe in a world that no longer exists. The same instincts that helped our ancestors avoid predators and find food are the ones that can cause us to shy away from opportunities and cling to security, even when it's to our financial detriment. But here's the good news. Just as an athlete trains their body to perform at peak levels, you can train your brain to excel in wealth creation. It's all about rewiring those old circuits from survival to success, from scarcity to abundance. This isn't just fanciful thinking, it's grounded in the science of neuroplasticity, which shows us that our brains can change, adapt, and grow in response to our experiences and thoughts. So, how do we harness this incredible power? How do we shift our mindset from one that sees obstacles at every turn, to one that sees opportunities? How do we train our brain to focus not on what we stand to lose, but on everything we stand to gain? Today, I'm here to guide you through this transformation. I'm going to show you how to unlock the true potential of your mind to create the wealth you've always wanted. Let's embark on this journey together. Let's explore how to set powerful goals, how to cultivate a mindset that magnetizes money, and how to take actionable steps that turn your financial dreams into your reality. Together, we'll navigate the path from where you are now to where you want to be, armed with nothing but the untapped power of your mind. So, if you're ready to challenge the status quo, if you're ready to transform your financial future, I invite you to lean in, listen closely, and open your mind to the possibilities that await. The journey to wealth starts with a single step, and that step is the decision to train your brain for unparalleled success. Let's get started. When we delve into the intricate workings of the human brain, we uncover a fascinating blueprint, one that's been meticulously crafted over millennia to prioritize our survival. This ancient wiring, deeply embedded within us, is designed to keep us safe from harm's way, ensuring our ancestors could evade predators and secure their next meal. Yet, in today's vastly different world, this same wiring plays a pivotal role not in the wild, but in the realms of our financial decisions and aspirations. Consider this. Our brains, by default, operate on a scarcity model. They're tuned to spot immediate dangers and opportunities for immediate gain often overlooking the long-term benefits in favor of short-term survival. This instinctual response can lead us to make financial decisions based on fear rather than strategy. We might shy away from investing in ourselves or our futures because our primal brain perceives these actions as risky, preferring the safety of the known and the now. But here's where the magic of our modern understanding comes into play. 
Scientists have discovered a remarkable capability of our brains called neuroplasticity. This is the brain's ability to rewire itself to form new connections and pathways in response to our experiences and thoughts. What this means for you and me is profound. It means that we are not bound by the default settings of our brains. We have the power to change, to adapt our thinking, and consequently, our financial destiny. Now I want you to pause for a moment and ask yourself, what thoughts and experiences am I feeding my brain? Are they ones of fear, scarcity, and limitation, or are they ones of abundance, opportunity, and growth? The Nourishment We provide our minds directly influences the landscape of our financial lives. If we feed it with doubt, our financial decisions will reflect that. If we nourish it with confidence and knowledge, the possibilities become limitless. So, how do we begin this process of rewiring? How do we shift from a mindset of scarcity to one of abundance? It starts with awareness. By becoming mindful of our thoughts and the impact they have on our actions, we can start feeding our brains the right kind of experiences. We can choose to consume information that empowers us, engage in conversations that elevate our thinking, and immerse ourselves in environments that inspire growth. The journey to financial success is not just about acquiring more wealth. It's about transforming the way we think about wealth. It's about training our brains to see the opportunities where we once saw obstacles, to embrace risk as a pathway to growth, and to view our financial goals not as distant dreams, but as achievable realities. As we move forward, I'll guide you through the practical steps to harness the power of neuroplasticity to reshape your financial landscape by reshaping your thoughts. Together we'll explore strategies to cultivate a wealth mindset, actionable steps to achieve financial growth, and ways to overcome the setbacks that are an inevitable part of the journey. Remember, the brain you have today is not the brain you must have tomorrow. You have the power to shape it, to mold it into a tool that works for you, not against you, in achieving your financial goals. Let's embark on this transformative journey together, feeding our brains the right way, and unlocking the wealth that awaits us. The first and perhaps most crucial step is setting your financial goals. It's like setting sail on the vast ocean without a destination in mind. You'll find yourself drifting aimlessly at the mercy of the currents and winds. But with a clear destination, every action you take brings you closer to where you intend to be. Imagine your financial goals as the lighthouse guiding your ship through the night. These goals need to be clear, measurable, and time-bound. Why? Because vague goals produce vague results. You want to be rich is like aiming for a horizon that keeps moving further away as you approach it. However, dating you want to save $100,000 in the next five years for a down payment on a house is clear and measurable. You know exactly what you're aiming for and when you plan to achieve it. This clarity transforms your aspiration into a target. Now let's talk about the power of visualization in achieving your financial goals. Seeing is believing, they say. But more importantly, seeing makes achieving. Visualization isn't just daydreaming about rolling in heaps of money. It's a potent tool that aligns your subconscious mind with your financial objectives. When you vividly picture your goals as already achieved, you not only fuel your motivation but also activate your creative subconscious to generate ideas to make those goals a reality. Here's a simple exercise I'd like you to try. Take a quiet moment and visualize achieving your financial goal. Picture the moment in as much detail as possible. Where are you? Who is with you? What are you doing? How do you feel? Make this image as vivid and as colorful as you can. Feel the emotions of achieving your goal, the joy, the pride, the relief. Hold on to this image and these feelings. This exercise isn't just about dreaming, it's about creating a mental and emotional blueprint for your success. But now, as we stand at the edge of this newfound clarity and vision, a question naturally arises. Now that you know where you're heading, how do you make sure you get there? This question is the bridge to our next exploration, where we'll dive into the actionable strategies and mindset shifts required to turn your financial dreams into your reality. It's one thing to set a destination. It's another to chart the course and sail the distance. Let's embark on this next phase of our journey together, equipped with our goals, the vision to achieve them, and embarking on the journey to financial freedom. It's crucial to navigate the landscape of our own minds. The terrain here is often marked by two contrasting mindsets, the scarcity mindset and the wealth mindset. Understanding the difference between these two is like deciphering the code to unlocking true wealth. 
A scarcity mindset is like viewing the world through a lens of limitation. It's believing that there's never enough to go around. That every opportunity missed is lost forever. And that every success by someone else is a reminder of our own shortcomings. This mindset traps us in fear, envy, and insecurity, hindering our ability to see beyond our immediate circumstances. Contrast this with a wealth mindset, which opens the doors to abundance. This perspective understands that the world is full of opportunities waiting to be seized, that success is not a zero-sum game, and that our potential is only limited by our own beliefs and actions. It's a mindset that celebrates others' successes, knowing that there's plenty for everyone, and that our turn is just around the corner if we dare to reach for it. So, how do we cultivate this transformative wealth mindset? It begins with gratitude. Gratitude grounds us in the present, allowing us to appreciate what we have even as we strive for more. It shifts our focus from what's missing to what's abundant. Each morning, take a moment to list three things you're grateful for in your financial life. This simple practice can shift your perspective dramatically over time. Next, focus on abundance. Start by surrounding yourself with symbols of abundance that resonate with you. Whether it's images of places you want to visit, testimonials of financial success, or simply spending time in environments that represent the financial success you aspire to achieve. This constant reminder of what's possible expands your belief in what you can achieve. Another powerful strategy is learning from success stories. Dive into the biographies of people who've achieved the financial success you admire. Understand their mindset, their habits, their failures, and their resilience. You'll quickly realize that their path wasn't linear. They faced setbacks and had doubts just like you. But their wealth mindset propelled them forward. Continuous learning and growth are the bedrock of a wealth mindset. The world of finance and wealth creation is ever-evolving, and staying informed is key. Dedicate time each day or week to learning something new about personal finance, investment strategies, or economic trends. Knowledge not only empowers you, but also fuels your confidence to take calculated risks. Now let me ask you a thought-provoking question. What limiting beliefs are holding you back from financial success? Reflect on this. Are these beliefs rooted in reality, or are they merely shadows of past fears and societal conditioning? Recognizing and challenging these beliefs is your first step towards dismantling the barriers between you and your financial aspirations. With this newfound understanding of the wealth mindset and strategies to cultivate it, you're equipped to transform your financial reality. But understanding alone isn't enough. It's action that propels us forward. With the right mindset in place, it's time to put it into action. Let's move forward, ready to apply this wealth mindset to tangible strategies that will guide us to the financial success we envision. Understanding and developing a wealth mindset is akin to laying the foundation for a house. Yet without building upon that foundation, the house remains an unrealized concept, a potential that's never brought to life. It's the actions we take, grounded in practical strategies for financial growth, that construct the walls, roof, and rooms of our envisioned financial future. One of the most fundamental yet profound strategies is the concept of paying yourself first. This principle is not just about money management. It's about prioritizing your financial future over immediate gratification. When you allocate a portion of your income to your savings or investments before you pay your bills or spend on leisure, you're training your brain to prioritize long-term wealth over short-term pleasures. It's a simple act that sets a powerful process in motion, reinforcing the wealth mindset we've cultivated. Now let's delve into the magic of compound interest, often hailed as the eighth wonder of the world. Its power lies in its ability to multiply wealth exponentially over time, making time your ally in wealth creation. Starting early capitalizes on this power, turning even modest savings into significant sums. It's not just about saving money, it's about investing it in ways that allow it to grow. The earlier you start, the more you benefit from compound interest, making time one of your most valuable assets in wealth building. However, as we navigate the path to financial growth, Diversification and risk management emerge as crucial strategies. Diversification is the financial equivalent of not putting all your eggs in one basket. By spreading your investments across different assets, you mitigate the risk of significant losses, ensuring that a downturn in one area doesn't spell disaster for your entire portfolio. This approach requires a balance between risk and reward, understanding your risk tolerance, and aligning your investments accordingly. In this journey, the role of mentorship and networking cannot be overstated. 
surrounding yourself with individuals who have walked the path you're embarking on, provides invaluable insight and guidance. Mentors can offer advice, share their experiences, and help you navigate the pitfalls they've encountered. Networking, on the other hand, opens doors to opportunities, from partnerships and investments to advice and support. It's about building a community that supports your financial growth, where success is not just individual, but collective. Now let me ask you an engaging question. What actions are you taking today to secure your financial future? It's a question that calls for reflection and honesty. Are you implementing the strategies we've discussed, or are you waiting for the right time? Remember, the right time is now. The actions you take today lay the bricks for the financial future you aspire to. As we move forward, remember, actions alone, though essential, are just part of the journey. The road to financial success is not just about what you do, but also about how you respond to the challenges and opportunities that arise along the way. Let's continue to explore how we can not only act but adapt, ensuring that our journey to financial freedom is not just successful, but also fulfilling and resilient. In our journey through life, especially on the path to financial success, setbacks and failures are not just possible, they are inevitable. These moments can feel like formidable walls blocking our path, casting long shadows of doubt over our ambitions and dreams. Yet, it's crucial to understand that these setbacks are not the end of our story, but pivotal chapters that can propel us to greater heights if we choose to learn from them. The way we respond to these challenges can define our journey. It's not the setback itself that holds power over us, but our response to it. When faced with a setback, we have two choices. To see it as a barrier, an insurmountable obstacle that derails our progress, or to view it as an opportunity, a chance to learn, grow, and emerge stronger. So, how do we maintain our motivation and focus in the face of setbacks? One effective technique is setting small achievable milestones. These act as stepping stones on our path to larger goals, making the journey more manageable and less daunting. Each milestone achieved is a victory, a testament to our progress, deserving of celebration. Celebrating these wins, no matter how small, reinforces our belief in our ability to succeed and propels us forward. Another crucial aspect of navigating setbacks is having a strong support network. This network, comprised of friends, family, mentors, and peers, provides encouragement, advice, and a different perspective when we're too close to our challenges to see the way forward. They remind us of our strengths. When we're focused on our weaknesses and help us stand back up when we stumble, resilience and adaptability are qualities that, like muscles, grow stronger with use. Each setback we overcome makes us more resilient, teaching us that we can endure more than we thought possible. Adaptability, on the other hand, allows us to navigate the ever-changing landscape of our financial journey, adjusting our strategies and approaches as circumstances evolve. Now let me pose a reflective question. How do you respond to setbacks? Do you see them as obstacles or opportunities? Your answer to this question can illuminate your path forward, highlighting areas for growth and adjustment. It's a question worth pondering deeply because our mindset in the face of adversity can be our greatest asset or our biggest hindrance. As we wrap up this part of our discussion, let's remember that overcoming setbacks and staying motivated isn't just about enduring the tough times, but about learning from them, growing stronger, and continuing to move forward with renewed determination. With the right mindset, strategies for maintaining motivation, and a strong support network, there's no setback too great to overcome. Let's bring it all together. The journey to financial success is a complex tapestry woven from our dreams, actions, setbacks, and victories. Each element is crucial, teaching us valuable lessons and shaping us into the individuals capable of achieving our financial goals. Now, as we stand on the precipice of action, equipped with knowledge, strategies, and resilience, we're ready to take the final steps towards realizing our financial aspirations. As we stand at the crossroads of ambition and action, let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked upon together. Today, we've delved into the depths of our minds, unraveling the intricate wiring that governs our thoughts on wealth and scarcity. We've discovered that our brains, though initially sculpted by the hands of survival and caution, possess the remarkable ability to be remolded towards abundance and success. This journey begins with a fundamental understanding of our brain's blueprint recognizing its default settings, and embracing the power of neuroplasticity to foster a mindset aligned with financial prosperity. 
we ventured further, exploring the importance of setting clear, measurable, and time-bound financial goals. Like sailors charting a course across the vast seas, we understood the necessity of having a destination in sight. Not just any destination, but one that's vividly marked on the horizons of our minds. Through the practice of visualization, seeing our goals, feeling them as if they were already achieved, creates a magnetic pull towards their realization. Cultivating a wealth mindset emerged as a beacon on our journey, illuminating the path from scarcity to abundance. We learned that the world around us is a reflection of the world within us. By fostering gratitude, focusing on abundance, and drawing inspiration from those who've walked the path before us, we begin to see opportunities where there were once only obstacles. Continuous learning and growth became our compass, guiding us through uncharted territories with the assurance that with knowledge comes power. The power to make informed decisions, to take calculated risks, and to forge our path to financial freedom. Yet no journey is without its trials. We acknowledge the inevitability of setbacks and failures, recognizing them not as detours, but as integral parts of the path. Overcoming these challenges requires resilience, a support network, and the ability to celebrate every small victory. Each setback, each failure, is but a lesson in disguise, teaching us, molding us, and preparing us for the success that lies ahead. Now, as we draw our exploration to a close, remember that financial success is not a destination, but a journey. It's a journey marked by growth, learning, and the relentless pursuit of our goals. Today, I challenge you to commit to one action step towards your financial goals. The size of the step matters less than the decision to take it. Every journey begins with a single step, and every step brings you closer to your destination. So, I leave you with a final thought-provoking question. Imagine where you could be a year from now if you start training your brain for wealth today. What's stopping you? Let this question not be a roadblock but a springboard into action. Your future is not written in the stars. It's crafted by the decisions you make, the thoughts you nurture, and the actions you take. Remember, the path to financial freedom is paved with the choices we make today. So choose wisely, act boldly, and never underestimate the power within you to transform your financial destiny. Let's not just dream of a better financial future. Let's create it. One thought, one action, one victory at a time. Together we can turn the dream of financial freedom into a reality. The journey starts now. What's your first step going to be? Your ability to develop and use your inborn creativity will determine your success in life as much or more than any other single factor. Each time you focus your mind on solving a problem and come up with an idea or an insight, you actually experience a positive feeling of excitement, energy, and joy. Using your creativity systematically gives you a greater sense of control over your life, boosts your self-esteem, and moves you ahead toward achieving your goals. Creativity is vital to your success. We've all heard the statistic that the average person uses less than 10% of his or her mental capacity. Well, Recent research at Stanford University suggests it is closer to 2%, surely not more than 5. It means that compared to what you could be, you are only enjoying a small part of your existing potential. Children tested between the ages of 2 and 4, test out at 95% highly creative. When the same children are tested later at age 7, only 4% of them are still highly creative. Between the ages of 4 and 7, children who are naturally curious, and by the way curiosity is a hallmark of creativity, are told over and over to stop asking so many questions. The innate curiosity and creativity are stifled, and the child begins to conform in order to be free of criticism and the feelings of guilt and inferiority caused by criticism. As adults, most people resist change, fear new things, avoid asking questions, and stick rigidly to established ways. The two major obstacles to creative thinking are first, homeostasis, which means clinging to the status quo, or trying to continue acting and thinking in habitual ways. And the second is psychosclerosis, which is a hardening of the attitudes evidenced in rigidness of thinking and the refusal to consider alternatives. You can tell how open and flexible your thinking is by seeing how easily you can make three statements or admissions. How easily can you say, I was wrong, I made a mistake, especially to your children, to your spouse, and to your subordinates. How easily can you say, I changed my mind, I thought it over, and I've changed my mind. And how easily can you say, I don't know, or, I don't know, but I'll find out. 
and you can improve by practicing these three statements. Say them over and over until they flow naturally out of you. However, Einstein said, Every child is born a genius. You were born a genius. And the wonderful thing about your genius is that you still have it. Creativity is your natural birthright. It is as much a part of you as your heart and lungs. It doesn't die with lack of use. It simply goes into hibernation, and you can wake it up and activate it in your life whenever you decide to. Today, the very first step to performing like a genius is to accept the fact that deep inside you lies a vast storehouse of wisdom, intelligence, and creativity that you've habitually failed to use. Remember, you cannot achieve more just by working longer, harder hours. You must also work smarter. Intelligence is not simply IQ. Intelligence is a way of acting when confronting problems. Many geniuses have ordinary IQs. They are geniuses because they use their minds better than others do. There are basically three qualities of genius. First, geniuses have an open, almost childlike mind. They are receptive to many different ways of exploring the problem. They engage in what is called divergent thinking, and they let their minds consider many approaches to a solution. The second quality of genius is the ability to concentrate intensely, single-mindedly, without diversion or distraction, on one thing at a time, bringing all their mental powers to bear on one issue, like a laser beam cutting through steel. The third quality of genius is the ability to approach every problem systematically, using an orderly process to reach sound, well-thought-out conclusions. Let me mention some very important points with regard to creative thinking. The more positive you are, the greater will be the quantity and quality of ideas you come up with. The more you laugh when you're working on a problem, the more likely it is for you to come up with unique ideas and insights. Conversely, tension, stress, anxiety, fear, actually shut down large parts of the brain to try to stay calm, positive and relaxed when solving a problem. Look for the good in each difficulty you face or look for something funny in the situation. Confidently expect to find something positive in any adversity or setback, even just a valuable lesson. This exercise really works and will help you to be more creative and more constructive in any situation. Now, here's a systematic method described by Earl Nightingale in his wonderful audio cassette program, Lead the Field. First, write out your most important problem or obstacle in the form of a question at the top of a blank sheet of paper. For example, your goal may be to earn $30,000 per year. The question would be, what can I do to earn $30,000 per year? Write out 20 answers to your question and stay at it until you have the full 20 answers. Often, answer number 20 will be worth more than all the other 19 answers put together. Then, select one of your answers or solutions and implement it immediately. You can implement as many as you have time for, but be sure to go to work on at least one. This simple exercise will give you clarity, focus, and energy. And more people have become wealthy using this 20 idea method, what I call mindstorming, than by any other single method of creative thinking. Unlocking your amazing mind to achieve goals or solve problems always begins with clarity and decisiveness. The more clear you are about what you want, the more rapidly your mind will go to work to bring it to you. Another simple mindstorming exercise you can use is to first write out a clear answer to the question, what am I trying to achieve, avoid, or preserve? Be as specific as possible. Then, quickly write down every detail of the problem. Often, the exact answer you're looking for will emerge as you write. When a problem or obstacle is more complex or not amenable to a quick solution, here is a powerful systematic method you can use, alone or in conjunction with others. It has nine simple steps. Step 1. Approach the problem as though there were a simple, logical solution just waiting to be uncovered. This attitude of confident expectation keeps the mind positive and enhances creativity. Step 2. Use positive language. The language that you choose affects the way that you think and how clearly you think about any issue. Instead of the word problem, which is a negative word, use the word situation, which is a neutral word, or better yet, use challenge, which is a positive word, or even better, opportunity. Step 3. Ask. What exactly is the situation? In writing, as they say in medicine, accurate diagnosis is 50% of the cure. Probably half of the problems or situations that you wrestle with in the course of the day can be defined if you'll simply define them accurately. Step 4. Ask, what are all the possible reasons or causes for this situation? This is an extremely important step 
because if you do not remove the causes, you may solve the particular situation, but you will leave the causes in place, and the situation will repeat itself. And wherever you see a situation that occurs over and over again, what it means is that the causative factors have not been dealt with, even though a temporary solution has been implemented. Step 5. Make a decision. Often, any decision is better than no decision. Develop the habit of decisiveness. As soon as you make a decision, you begin to get feedback, which enables you to correct the decision, and gives you more feedback, which enables you to continue to correct. And the very most successful people in every field are decisive. Step 6. Assign specific responsibility. Who exactly is going to carry out the decision? If it's you, accept the responsibility. If it's someone else, make it very clear to them what they're expected to do. Step 7. Set a deadline for completion. This is very important. If you have not set a timeline and made your decision time-specific, all you've simply done is had an interesting discussion, but you have not solved the situation or the problem. And finally, step 8. Take action as soon as possible. Get going, get busy, get to work on it. One of the things that we have found over and over again is that the surest way to deal with a major problem is to bring all your energies to bear on it as soon as you possibly can and stay with it non-stop until the problem is resolved. Finally, if you can't solve your problem using the methods we've discussed, here are some focused questions you can pose to stimulate creativity. Here's one of my favorites. What are you trying to do? How are you trying to do it? Remember, if you're pursuing a particular course of action and you have nothing but problems along that course of action, it may indicate that the course of action or the plan is incorrect. What are your basic assumptions? Both your conscious and your unconscious assumptions. Could they be wrong? Incorrect assumptions lie at the root of every failure. Whenever you find yourself experiencing frustration in achieving a particular goal, almost invariably, you have made incorrect assumptions. You have to go back in the past, back into the history of the situation, and say, what assumptions have we made here? What if you did exactly the opposite of what you were doing right now? Consider doing exactly the opposite of your current course of action, and then think about doing the opposite of that. Very often you'll come up with some very creative ways to approach the situation. Be willing to draw a line under everything you're doing today. Imagine starting over with a clear slate, knowing what you now know differently. What would you change? What would you get into or get out of? Most of all, what are you going to do about it? When are you going to do it? Here are seven points to remember on creativity. As long as there are people's needs unmet and human problems unsolved, there are opportunities for you to innovate and move ahead. All you need to do is be 10% new in any field to start a fortune. Look for ways to improve what is being done by doing it faster, cheaper, better, easier. Improvements of any kind offer great opportunities. Look into yourself for the solutions to the dilemmas that you face every day. Read continually in your field, research, study, take courses, attend trade shows. Sure, it's time-consuming and hard work. That's why failures never do it. To increase your income, look continually for new ways to give people what they want. Look at what your competition is doing successfully, learn from them, copy them if necessary, and then do it better. Cherish your mistakes and learn from your failures. They contain valuable lessons that you will need to be successful. Approach every problem or difficulty as though it were sent to make you smarter and stronger. Finally, learn to trust your intuition. Trust yourself. Remember that you are a genius to the degree to which you accept your genius and act upon it applying your wonderful mind to the challenges of opportunity that confront it.